Hey Pat, we know you're upset you didn't get your final bow. Me, Liana, Loretta, Sam, and Emma decided to make you one to cheer you up. Hope you enjoy it. I remember freshman year, sitting at the same lunch table. While others conversed till their mouths fell off, you stared deeply into your iPad watching gaming videos. Though I couldn't care less what you were watching, I felt the sense of curiosity of who you were and what you were like. Who knew that this boy that I was staring at freshman year would eventually become not only my boyfriend, but also my best friend. I admit, times can be tough these days. You live in a world of sand while I live in a world of cement. You're meant to rule the stage while I was meant to rule the sidelines, writing stories and scripts. You always find something nice to say about anyone while I always find the first thing to judge. We have so many differences, and yet we still make the perfect, imperfect pair. I love holding your hand tightly as we walk down the block to a sushi place, to a Mexican place, to a burger place, Italian place, you get the gist of it. I enjoy staying on the couch and snuggling with you as we watch a movie while secretly giving kisses on your fuzzy cheek because you're just so cute. <laughs> I enjoy complaining about what's currently happening, whether it be about a teacher, assignment, a person, or even just to cry on your shoulder, figuratively and literally. You're always attentively listening and always find a way to make me feel better. In fact, you make me a better person. And now, I can't even imagine my life without you. I know you're so upset about the circumstance we're in. You never deserved this, especially now. This coronavirus has ruined everything. Well, not everything. The one thing it will never ruin is my admiration for you. Hey, Pat. I know this isn't exactly the senior moment that you imagined, but I still think it's really important that you get recognized for all the hard work you've put in, in dramatics and outside dramatics. It's a variant. First of all, I want to remind you that you're a great friend. You're always willing to go along with whatever craziness we come up with, whether we want to scream on FaceTime at 10 p.m., because why not, or rank Disney princesses, or throw an awesome Christmas party. You're always so supportive, and you help us build on it and make it better, and that's really cool. I think that enthusiasm that you have really extends to everything you do, be that on the stage or off the stage. All the plays I've seen you in at Severian, no matter what your role is, you always bring that little extra oomph, that little extra flair to what you do. And I think if you bring that with you to college and beyond, you'll definitely go far in life. Also, when you become a famous YouTuber, don't forget about your pal Emma, okay? Good, just check it. I'm really sorry that you couldn't get your senior bow the way you wanted it to be. Every year you make the place so enjoyable and you blow the audience away every time. We are so proud of you, and you deserve much better than this. You are always so kind, caring, and such a great friend. To put up with Loretta, you have to be a really, really, really good guy. We all have so many. We all had so many great times together. Whether it's going to our favorite Mexican place, our wild karaoke nights, or just hanging out in the Ingerbala basement, we always have a blast. You always know how to lift everyone's mood, and you o you're always the last person to argue. You are always working hard and never forget to be yourself. You don't care what anyone thinks, even when Sam bullies you. I'm sure you will bring all the great things about you to college and do great th greater things than we can even imagine. Overall, we want you to know you are amazing and we are here for you. Remember to never give up and follow your dreams. We wish you the best. When I first started dramatics, I had no idea what I signed up for. And when I agreed to be your best friend, I also had no clue what I was getting myself into. Now, you're probably at the edge of your seat wondering what I am going to say and if I'm going to be nice in your senior speech. Well, I hope I don't disappoint you, but let's be honest, you're already a disappointment. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. You and I have gone through a lot of shit together. From the time I was crying and you tried to run after me, but I ran into the women's bathroom and you did it, of course. And to being at my Sweet 16, which is one of the best days of my life, and dancing like an absolute moron with me. I look forward every lunch and every CST day to spending time with you. From going to get sushi to just messing around in the cafeteria making dumb jokes 
and you make Hell Week way, way better. Because without you there, you know I would have stabbed somebody. The best part of being your best friend is you're always my shoulder to cry on. Even if you're so damn tall, I gotta punch you to like bring you back to my level. And above everything, I get to annoy the shit out of you 24 seven and you can't do anything about it. In all seriousness, you are the brother I never had and I wish I did. I'm gonna miss talking shit about I'm gonna miss talking shit about the cast and everybody with you. From the bottom of my heart, I love you so much, and you can bet your ass we're still gonna be best friends after you graduate. Okay, so true to form, I was the last one to do this, but what else do you expect from me? Here goes nothing. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for always thinking of me when planning things and letting me ruin date night for you and Loretta. Like, all the time even though you don't really have to. Brady and I always have a blast. Just kidding. <laughs> Thanks for your upbeat energy and your persistence to always being yourself. It's really great to see you following your passions and I know whatever great place you end up, it'll be because you deserve it. <laughs> but don't worry, you and I both know you won't be getting rid of me just yet. I love you so much. So Eva from on stage with Patrick Flagg and Kevin Danher, Please take his final bow. Patrick, remember that you're a star. Now take your final bow. And finally, take your final Patrick bow. Patrick Flanagan, Kevin Danaher, please take his final bow. Patrick Flanagan, Kevin O'Reilly, Ramalamalama, Kadinga Dinga Dong, Danaher, please step right up and take your final bow. Alright, listen here, fucktart. I do not want to do this speech at all. I don't, I did not want to do this at all. But your girlfriend forced me against my will to do it. So, I don't get my head chopped off. Here it is. <coughs> hey Pat, we know where you Hey Pat, we know you were upset that Anna, Loretta, Sam, uh, we know you were upset you didn't get your senior bow. Yeah, uh, we know you were upset you didn't get your senior bow. Hey, hey Pat, me uh, upset you didn't get your. Hey Pat, we were. Hey Pat, we know you were.